But I just want to ride my bike. But obviously not be fucking drenched in water. I don't know. That's what I want to do. Whether that's the realities or not, we shall see. I don't think it will be. It's showtime. This is the Devonshire countryside. Uh, it's pretty ghosty out here. Uh, no reception. That's the very scary thing about this place. No reception. What that means is if anything goes wrong, then yeah, I'm in the shit. I'm in the on my own. No one's going to help you shit. So I'm using this rear brake. Nice and controlled. Because this is a two cylinder bike, it doesn't react very well to slight movements. You're either going or you're not, basically, with this bike. You're either going or you're not. And, um, yeah, I don't really want to push the boundaries. Good. Good, good, good. Good learner. Well done. Made it very clear your intentions. Oh, 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 look at that. This is my chance to turn around. Fuck it! Fuck it out of fucking hell! Wow, he's strimming. He's having a strim. Strim. Oh, busy, isn't it? It's all a Sunday, you see. It's all a Sunday and everyone just wants to fucking get their shit done and go home, basically. Oh, yeah. If my power goes out, okay, it's because I run out of battery juicing to cylinder. Once you get a bit of throttle, it just goes... You know, that's what it does, it goes wham, spins up quite ferociously. I'm using that and it's been pretty good. The camera lasts for about four hours ish on a fully charged battery. These days it's more like free, but the, the video quality is very good. Uh, if you're thinking about a, a camera, see. Do you know what I mean? The range is fucking sporadic. Let me feel. Let's see what the trip meter says. <clears throat> no, I've actually got. No, I've got a pretty good range. Ah, screw it, doesn't matter. Just keep going. I just keep going. Just keep going on the Kawasaki! Kawasaki! Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Precision. Precision belt this! Look at Whoa. 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 Um. Fucking rain. It's European weather, what can you expect? It's just British European fucking weather. It is all it is. Ah, uh, what I was going to talk about on my YouTube video. The camera I currently use, what I'm currently using to do my recording. Yes, I looked at a. Well, me and my dad, we looked at a GoPro, we looked at those cameras, and then we. A lot of people used them and we thought, oh, alright, mm, I'm probably going to go for that. And then we found a random video and we looked at this Drift HT Ghost. And they did, we watched comparisons and yeah, the HD Ghost just had that little bit more crisper, sharper video. And it had a longer battery life. But a really expensive, it was 400 fucking quid camera! Ew! But, you know, it was worth it at the end of the fucking day. Do I my swearing? If you can't handle my swearing in my videos and just don't watch them, it's um, a British European thing we have. We like to swear a lot because um, everything is quite tiring and we just like to swear because we feel better for it, aren't we? It's usually how I see it. You know, it speaks how. Look at this boy, he's like, ooh, and he's gonna take whatever fucking thing I like. Look at that! Look how I'm like over here, so I can scoot past him. He's like taking all the lanes, all of them. Um, yes, um, 400 quid, uh, money well spent, yes. Has it been easy to live with, yes. All you need is a USB lead and um, a USB charger. So, what I mean by that is it's like an Apple charger, it has a USB port on it, so you just plug it in. So, you can use it as a data cable and a charger. It's great. Um, God, it's getting fucking cold now. I'm ramping up the heat. Ramping up the heat. 
wrap it up the hay cause I can Oh, Rain, go away! Some girls like he's getting wet because of you, you fucker! Stop it! But, um, wow. Finding people in the road, as you fucking do. Yeah, it's been really good. And I'd recommend that over a GoPro. Uh, you get a mounting kit with it, and it's 3M adhesive, so it has a sticky pad on the back. Stick it on your helmet, wherever you want it to be. You can buy new pads if you want to, or new mounts if you want to. So it is a camera that gives you everything you're going to need to mount it. And you have USB cable. I think you have a charger. I can't remember now. It's been months and months since we bought them. So, yeah. Uh, me and my dad have both researched. So, uh, don't worry. In this video, I'm not taking all the credit. I'm not, Dad. Because we both worked together to achieve the goal. And uh, thanks to Dad, we found just the right camera. Woo! Woo! Look at how weighty this bike is. It's like, woo! Woo! It's really nice. Oh, look at this. The Devonshire countryside. How very posh are you? I won't get my shotgun out to know did you even listen. What? Yeah, she get off my land. Get off my land now. Fuck off! Get off my land. I'll shoot you with my gun. I'm not afraid to use it. Really? No, I'm not! Though I've never used it before, but no, I'm not! Uh -huh. I understand why farmers have shotguns here, because it must get very spooky. Spooky, and all that sort of shit, really. Ooh. Oh, rain! Go! There's not even any fucking clouds above me and it's raining! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Vauxhall. You Vauxhall driver. It's like ramming speed all the time. It's like I'm gonna just ram you off the road because I'm a twat. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. That's the feeling I get from a Vauxhall driver. Uh, BMW drivers are just on the best. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. Ah, <laughs> look, scooter. Well done. And you're wearing the gear. Well done. Well done for your effort. You've done a really good job. Random fucking weather. Stop raining. Please. I'm exposed. I'm, do I not get a special discount because I'm on a bike? No. You fucker. That's all I have to say. Ah, that was overtaking opportunity. <laughs> oh, this is a good bike, this. It's just comfortable and just gets you where you need to be. And my dad, uh, yeah, the Honda dirt bike is a write-off. We just got the money for it from the insurance company. Like, we won the claim or whatever. But it's just kind of like, fuck. It is a good bike. I got to ride it. I had paid for a one-cylinder engine. Uh, the controls were good. It was relatively comfortable. It wasn't too tall. It was it was a good bike. But the problem I had with it is it was what it was. It was just a it was just a Honda. It was just it was just a Honda. I mean, there's there's nothing else to say. It was just a Honda. It's, it didn't excite me or anything. It was just it just did what it did, and that's it. It's, that was it. It's gone. Oh, fame, you fuck off! God damn it! You're ruining my day! You're ruining my day over nothing! Only because you're fucking... Look at those sheep. I always wondered about that building. That used to be a building or something, but now it's just all fucked. Look at it. That used, that used to be something right there. Right over there. It used to be something, and now it isn't. It's like some wreck that's going to be there for 100 years. And the next person's going to go, what was that? <laughs> Am I just a cycle? Am I the next cycle? The next person's going to go, what was that? Yeah, it didn't excite me at all. It wasn't, it, this isn't me criticising Honda, it was just, it was just Honda, it wasn't, it, it just, it was Honda. It started, it, it was, it, it was a good bike, I couldn't fault it, it was just Honda. Was, no, nothing, this, this bike excites me, it makes you go, you know. Oh, let's get, let's get. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm on a 600cc bike, but I rid a Honda 500, and guess what? It felt the same weight as this, believe it or not. And it was just a Honda? It, it, wasn't, it was not just a Honda? It wasn't anything else? It didn't do anything else? It was just a Honda. That's all I had to say. 
But oh, it doesn't mean it wouldn't have on there. It's just, it's just on there. It's not exciting. The next bike, look at that. It goes, ah, well, it's like, oh yeah. That one was like, bang. It's kind of like, oh. And maybe an ER6 would be the same as a Honda if it didn't have this exhaust. But I don't think it would. I just don't think it would. I would like a Z1000SX in my life at some point because I read Dad's one, I know. All you got to do is get used to the weight and how to... Because every bike's different, but it's the weight more than anything. After the weight, it was just a nice bike. Kawasaki, you struck gold with that bike. You really did. It was best worlds between a ZX10R and just a... A Tora, you know. It was the best combinations of the both of them. It was really good. And the way it picked up was like mental. It was mental. It was just like this, where it went meow, and it was like, it was so smooth and subtle, and but you could still hear a little bubbling come from the exhaust, you know, it was, it was a really nice bike, oh, I couldn't fault with it, I really couldn't fault with it, come on, Grand Volterra, oh, for fuck's sake, what's going on here? Ah! Ah! See my it's like meow! <laughs> Mental fucking bike! Kawasaki's a mental. I love the mentalness. They're just so good fucking fun. If I have any criticism for you, Kawasaki, and I am not too opinionated, this really is a good criticism on Kawasaki. Alright, you've got, you've got goods with your whole starter motors, but you haven't built one for a dirt bike yet. So you had the KLX, which is Kawasaki's dirt bike, but it's carbureted. 2014, and they're still doing carbureted fucking dirt bikes. Times have moved on, Kawasaki. Start mode is the way to go. Build injections is the way to go. It's not. <laughs> I know the good old saying where when something's good, don't replace it. It is totally cool. Just don't. You can't make it better. Don't fucking change it. Cause you'll fuck it up. But and this is the same for Windows. They fucked up there. And um, yeah, it's just kind of like it's just kind of like that, really. It's like oh, this is just such a good fun. It's just such a nice mic. Oh, when it's working, it's like, oh. Oh, I can ride you all day and I'll be happy. Sheep! Sheep over there! Did you see your sheep? Sheep over there? <laughs> Sorry. You gotta have a bit of mentalness in your life, or else you're just not a human being. We're all a bit mental in our ways. We're all a bit mental. There's no, no saying. You know when people say you're saying? Thank you. You know when people say you're saying, right? Uh, no one's really sane. I mean, we're all a bit mad. Thank you. You're all a bit mad in our own way. I'm a bit mad. Just some people are more mad than others. Ow. That is a fucking millionaire's home, that. Look at that. Stone walls and... Ah, that's, that's someone that has wealth owns that. Probably some country farmer or something. This is my third home. <laughs> is it now? Oh yes, I bought this two years ago and it was really good and I had to do X, Y, Z to it and it was like... Okay! Cows! More cows! Look at that! <laughs> the problem is, with this place, I don't know what you do to... I say I live to Morton Hampstead, where's the work? Do I have to say? Well, I'm gonna head back now, and it has been a oh, oh, no energy. You see, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's what you can get over on a Kawasaki. That ferocious fucking! I'm gonna kill you now. You never get, you can never get used to it. Clear, go. Um. I was at Wooden Down Services. I uh, had a cup of coffee and uh, had a break and simple shit like that, really. Oh, I heated, 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 heated handlebars. Heated handlebars. Um, this has been a good bike. So far, she hasn't let me down yet. Uh, she needed a relay. She needed a relay box. A re regulator. We have a bits and bobs and uh, clutch is adjusted and tick over a bit and now she's sweet, she's a fucking brilliant mic. Now where's Zaki? I really need to put a bit of distance on this truck, I'm not happy right now. That's better, that's better. But this is why cunts like him, right? I'm going to go along there and then swoop in. And it's like, what the fuck? 
that's what it feels like, because then they get really close, and it's like, fucking hell, that's the whole point of having distance, and then you close the gap like that. Oh, hey. Cars on the road, I think the problem with this country is the fact that at some point we've got to run out of road. With, with the population, it's getting bigger and bigger, and there's just so many vehicles on the road. And the road system, like this one, was only accommodated to handle the amount of cars that it did back when it was built. But it hasn't taken into account what happens when it gets bigger. You know what I mean? Oh, this is just a nice ride right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kawasaki, you're massaging me. That's me. It's me right there! That's me and my little, little thing in my bum! Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cruise with the traffic. Cruise with it. What I'm using is a so what what me and my dad are using is called a Sony uh, stereo microphone. And they've always been really good. So Drift, uh, Ghost, S and for uh, uh, voice for sound. Um Sony, look at that! See, this is the worrying bit, isn't it? I mean, what the fuck? Everyone's like, fucking mental! This guy, he's like, oh, I'm just gonna accelerate and it'd be a mess! It's like, why? Um... Uh, huh. This is a really comfortable ride. Oh, yeah. It's not as comfortable as the Z1000SX, that was really good. I, um, apart from the bumps, I couldn't feel anything. It was nice and soft all and everything. It was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, more than this. Hey, no one keeps distance anymore. It's stupid. What else is there to report? Uh, so, uh, and what I use is it's just a stereo stereo. So, on the back of my Drift Ghost, I have a stereo jack. So, I think it's 3.5mm diameter, stick it in the ghost, put it for your helmet, and job done. You have video and audio. I just don't know how to have audio, so the way it would be is that when I'm riding with my dad, you could like hear us talk in sync, and what they call accidental broadcasts, they do that. So, it's something we're working on, but it's just... Ah, oh, so many systems, and they're all like bulky, they're not streamlined. Lightness is quite important, because I don't want loads of weight. I don't want it. Lightweight? Great! Heavyweight? No! Oh, everyone's so close, it's insane. This is how accidents happen, you know? And no one cares, everyone's just like, I'm gonna rear people to potatoes. Look at that! Ah. Oh. I don't know what's wrong with the world today, but something's very wrong with the world. And Russia isn't helping, they really are not helping. i give you an example, right? It's the whole fucking Russia and Ukraine. And Russia keep throwing bombers and tankers in European airspace. What the fuck's that about? The way I see it, there's a fucking Cold War's over, guys. This is the no. Your ideology lost, okay? Your communism was brutal and it failed. Ours has survived. So we're in there. Fucking stupid. And it's like, we all just want to live in a world where we can get on with our lives, you know? Because the only thing thing is, right? Uh, uh, uh this road's bloody as fuck. Oh, I fucking hate this road now. Oh, God. Oh, this road sucks. What we have, right, is the fact that if there was, day, theoretically, there was World War Three, we'd all fucking die. Nuclear weapons, because the only way it will end, will be a nuclear fire, and we will all die. Okay, I don't care what you have to say, right? So, fuck off, right? Look at the look at the films. I, I know it's fiction, but they have based it on a bit of reality, and how everything's wiped out. For what? A stupid little ideology? Why? We have got more important things to worry about than some stupid territory in Eastern Europe that fucking Russia won't leave alone because they think that they are gonna be threatening them alright, we are focus now I just don't get it, I just don't get it we will annihilate each other because of radiation right, if the fire, if the, if the nuclear weapons don't wipe us out it'll be the fucking radiation it would have killed look at the people that were in the that were next to nuclear weapons doing testing they're all fucking dead 
all of them, none of them survived because the radiation killed them. So either way, we all fucking die for what? Oh god. Please fuck off. Please fuck off. Do not pull out. Ugh. No patience. Very worrying that that is happening. You know, it is. Oh god, everyone's breaking down today and on Sunday as well. The worst time. Bentley! Looks like the Mafia! What's that about? Looks like a bit of Mafia going on there! That number plate, N, that looked a bit Mafia! That looked a bit like dodgy, dodgy criminals then! Yeah, it is pretty bad! It is really bad! We don't want nuclear war, right? Uh, I need to bang on about this, because it needs to be said! Any of you that are Russian, that happen to watch my videos, and it would be cool if you did! <laughs> We're in Russia watching my videos. Hopefully you're not a Russian that's going to try and be a murderer. So that'd be a bit worrying then. You're a bit psycho, you Russians. You're a bit fucking mental. What else have we got going on? Um, what's he going to say? Right? Right, if you want to know, if you're in Russia watching this, or, I don't know, or whatever country, if you like Russia, NATO is not... Look at that! Uh, I give up sometimes, I really fucking do. NATO is not your enemy. We're not here to be aggressive. We're not here to threaten you. Right? The reason why we have NATO is because you fucking Russians won't fucking behave yourselves. Keep threatening us with bombers and tanks and Jesus Christ, what would you do? You'd rally up with a bunch of mates and go, guys, guys, let's make a pact. Let's work together should these fuckers attack us. And that's what NATO is. It's us European countries in the United States that are really worried about the fact that the US is keep threatening us. We're all kind of packed together. We made an alliance again today. We, if you fuckers decide to attack us, we're all going to work together and defend Europe and defend America. And it's just there to, as a deterrent. It's just there to defend us. We're not here to be aggressive. It's here for defence. That is it. NATO's not your enemy. We're here to defend you. You're the one being the enemy with your aggression. We don't want war. But we will defend ourselves because you shouldn't have the right to just murder any country you want. I don't care if you have nuclear weapons. We have too. We can fucking nuke you. But we don't because we're better than that. You guys clearly aren't. Stop it. Uh, oh. God's sake, people. So you're all just being arseholes. Well, stop being arseholes, basically. Stop it. NATO, we're working with the Russian military at one point. We were all working to... What are you doing? We you overtake? Fuck's sake. There's an overtake, you cunt. Whoa. Death and destruction. At one point, we were all working together. What happened there? We were, See, we can be friends. We can work together. There's more important problems in the world right now. There's some territory in Eastern Europe. Some territorial dispute. Did you think we're the enemy? We're not! We have exercises in Poland just to keep our forces at readiness state in the case you decide to be assholes and start a war. For what? Does this war look nice? War is death and pain. That's all it is. Death and pain and sorrow. You see the films? And people that come out of these conflicts just go, why do, what do we do? Why do we do this? Why do I lose my friend so bloody and watch his lights go out, watch his eyes close and just sheer pain and fear? For what? Alright, that's my piece there. I feel like I need to say that and it's very to the point. Oops. I think I wanted to turn it off at that point. This is a good bite, this. I don't think I'll move on from Kawasaki. I don't think I'll go to any other brand. Unless it's a dirt bike. Uh, ow! Fucking god damn! Ow! Oh. oh, this is, oh, this is nice. This is really fucking good, this. Oh, yeah. Average speed cameras. Yeah. They put up roadworks, you see, and now they've got the average speed camera second marker. Can I go left or not? I actually want to go left. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Something's gone wrong here. Something's gone here wrong here, guys, and I don't know what it is, but I've gone the kind of not the way I expected to go, you know? Right now, you can drop your fucking speed. Uh oh. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm going back on this. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. 
<laughs> I'll go back on it. Oh! Hi oh guys! Please make some room for me, you assholes! Are you good it? Seriously now, I need to be able to get in my fucking lane! Ah! Fucking hell! Fucking worrying that one, no, it's really worrying. Some of them just like, don't give you any space to get in. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, this is comfy, this is. Oh, yeah. Ah! Okay. Play speed cameras, you fuckers. Fuckers! You bunch of cunts. Sorry, it's that simple, you bunch of assholes. This just sucks, this is. I actually want to get to somewhere really quickly. I've got a call out to go to as well. Oh, let me fucking go. Let me go. I'm going to get some distance from this. Uh, it looks like a twonk of a driver. It looks like a twonk. Uh, twonk's basically a twonky, you know. Idiot. Swat. Twonk. You dumbass. Don't know. I'm not a perfect human being. I'm not. But there are just some things that I would do and think, fucking, why did you do that? What, what contemplating in your head that went, that was okay? But, hey, we're all different. We're all different, no one's perfect. If there were, I said there would not be the pain and death of this world. That has happened before! Because people thought they knew better, and they didn't. Ah, uh, yeah. Welcome to Exeter! Exeter. Exeter's a bit of a dodgy place sometimes, it really is. But this isn't me being bad to people living in Exeter, it's just you guys have some dodgy places that even I wouldn't go to. This is a bit dodgy! This is a bit scary! <laughs> that is Bridge Exeter. Bridge motorcycles. You know what? This is probably one of the worst roundabouts in Exeter. Because it's so busy, it's such a busy roundabout, it's a bit mental, really. We just don't have the time, all the fucking patients, and I'm too cold! Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, that's helped! Not! That's helped, but it hasn't. <laughs> Damn it. I hope this will help me, but. Well, actually, I don't know, actually, yeah, it's kind of helping. Kind of. Not massively, just enough for me to notice. Oh, is someone there? Surveillance? Stop! 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 Is there some kind of criminal syndicate or something? Some criminality going on there? Oh, I'm oh, the Mafia boss! Hi, Joe! Yeah, let's close off that little bit of road. The government won't notice. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Let's pay some work and put some signs up. Oh, yeah! Yeah, that worked out! Yeah! No? I would probably do it smoother, like, right? My brother boss here! I need you to close up that road! Will you do that for me? Uh, yes, I do want to board to you. Uh, come here. Oh, yes, I'll do that for you. Oh, that's even more pasta. Oh, yes, I love that idea. Uh, Italians are not taking the piss. I'm not. It's just how we see you. <laughs> I'm not taking the piss. You're some of your good people. Oh, your foods are fucking amazing. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd like to talk about you, Kit, at some point. Uh, basically, I stopped pulling out. Uh, do I want to let you out? Stop fucking going out! So I was saying, ow! Um, yeah, UKIP, uh, UK Independence Party, I don't really know why you exist. I really don't, I don't get it. When I think about it, I really don't get it. I really don't get why you exist. You tell me the European Union are evil and well, they're not. They can be stupid, yes. They can be a bit irate, yes. They can be idiots, yes. But they're not useless, and they're not evil. They just see things differently than we do. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, it really isn't. Alright. Ah, fucking hell. I'll slide in then, you cunt. You cunt! I'll be eating jack on your fucking Honda! Because you fucking think you believe in the Union, yet you fucking have to look to to your own kind! So... Bit of... Weirdness going on there. Be alright, shouldn't it? Oh. Oh, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Oh, no, it would have been nice with you. Ah, I would have seen it. The camera's just not good enough. That's the problem. The camera's not good enough to pick up stuff like that. We can, but. I had to do it in the light because it's the only way the camera will pick up the bike. And this is the dorky, the dorky.
this will probably be the end of the video and uh, goodbye and thank you for watching Luke Adventures <laughs> Luke Adventures on a camel lucky oh. oh I'm tired now I'm just oh Oh, that was a ride. That was a long fucking ride. That was just a long fucking ride. If my battery goes dead, it's just because it's run out of power. Thank you for watching Look Adventures. I need to be heading home now. That's why you got to be a bit strategic. A bit strategic with your riding. Righty righties. Now it could be a cock and accelerate like a dickhead. But I ain't gonna do that. Because I'm a better person. Oh god. Alright. Good driving. Actually, I'm not taking the piss. Like, it's actually good driving. Um. Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking freezing already. Fucking hell. Oh, uh, yeah. Disabled customer. Got a Sapphire's Mac. Or, um, or whoever gets the job. I think it's me. Might not even need to put Mavericks on it. See see how the operating system is. Might be really good. Well, there's no point wiping it. Just store software, load out, set it up. See, this... Well... Clear, clear, clear. Ah, oh, why can't they solve this whole steamy visor shit? Go on. Go. Oh, yeah, it's a... Mm. Mm. Hey, hey, hey! So you could go. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm not a twat. I didn't appreciate it. it. had to stop for me. What I'm trying to say is it, it depends on the bike's top speed. So I'm sure if it was 160 miles an hour bike, it would need that seventh gear. I like Kawasaki for their just whole, you know, high revving mental fuckers. You know, mental bikes. And boy, ah, I hate these traffic lights. For that reason. Oh, that was a good fucking stop right there. That was controlled. Stop. Uh oh, all right now, Luke. Getting a bit cocky, aren't you? Uh, I don't like to be cocky. That runs a lot. That's when life strikes to fuck with you, like uh, things that want to break and shit. Oh, why are you up my ass? You fuck off. That's what I do to do. Just do that, that. You know, fuck off. Swat. Because on a motorcycle you behave like an asshole. So, uh, sad what's happening in Ukraine. Really sad. In fact, the Russia just took Crimea and then fucking getting involved in Ukraine. It's kind of like, what? I don't get why this is happening. You know? Why Putin's been a dickhead. He's been a twat. Basically, he's been a great big guy, a twat. And no one's telling him that. No one's like, Putin, don't you think this is a bit wrong? Putin, don't you think you're pushing it a bit much? No, no, no one steps up and just goes, Putin, seriously, are you sure about this? I don't think this is... You'd think it would just be so screwed up that someone would just go, Guys, we're doing the wrong here, we're just doing wrong. There's a point where we just got to not be doing the wrong and just kind of go, Guys, we understand, but I don't know. It's wrong. And I feel sorry for the Ukrainian army because of what they're having to do. You know, it's like being trained up to protect your motherland and then finally you're killing your own people in your own motherland. It's like, god damn, this is a bit fucked up, guys. And this, the, the shit they're going through. And the fact that they had that, what was it called, Minsk agreement? And the fucking rebels are still firing artillery rounds. It's like, what? And then they go, oh, you Ukrainian army, you're not keeping to your never. The fucking rebels are firing rocket launchers! We expect the Ukrainian army to do? Just sit there and get bombed! So they're dying there, there's this guy who's in a fort, in a pillbox, is watching his other mate get blown to pieces. And the rest of his guys getting arms blown off, and what, that's okay! Or do you think he's gonna go, fuck you, and fire back, because he's been a cunt? Haha. <laughs> the way we...
The little rascal has spirit. As was it? This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid.